Welcome back to the Age of Jeremy. I hope you're having a great day. Do me a favor, smash that like button if you like this video and go ahead and hit subscribe. That would be fantastic so you can be notified anytime a new one of these videos come out. And um, if you're new to this channel, essentially you're learning about all the things that I learn while I build my businesses. I own multiple businesses. I have freed myself from the just over broke system and I have a surpassed paychecks as I like to say. I know that sounds stupid, but it's funny. So I say it. And so um, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about Discord. Um, I'll tell you how I got started into Discord, um, why Discord is important, um, and what Discord is. And then I'm going to show you a little bit about how I've kind of cleaned up my Discords. I'm going to show you in this new Discord server that I'm doing about how to add uh, emojis into the Discord server and kind of make it look nice. The actual setting up of the Discord server and getting started, maybe I'll do that in a later video. Um, if that's something that you want to see, go ahead and comment down below. But if not, I'm going to show you how to prettify the Discord because that was something that was really frustrating for me. So if you don't know what Discord is, and I'm going to read this off of the screen here, Discord is a VOIP or VoIP and instant messaging social platform. Users have the ability to communicate um, with voice calls, video calls, text messages, media, and files in private chats or as part of communities called servers. And so what great makes Discord amazing for uh, servers or for communities is because you can attach different roles to different people that come into the server, which give them different abilities to communicate with you know, other people that are in those roles or have different functions within the community. And so it's a really great place to build an online community. And I don't think that there is a better place as far as a free server goes. And so the stuff that I'm going to show you today is all free to do. It doesn't require you to get a bot or to pay for anything or even to have Discord boost. In some later videos, I'll probably show you how to do that. If that's something that you want to see sooner, again, comment in below what you want to see when it comes to Discord, because my goal is to become a Discord master at some point over the year as we continue to do it. So um, how I got involved with Discord was I own a business called 3T Warrior Academy with um, uh, my business partner. His name's uh, Coach JV or CJV. Um, his handle is at CoachJV underscore, so go check him out on TikTok. We have over a million followers between all of our accounts when it comes to the Coach JV and 3T Warrior Academy business. And so what we do is we provide subscriptions. Uh, it's a subscription-based business into our community where we provide courses for building generational wealth, mindset, motivation, health, and there's going to be a link in the description if you want to check that out some more. Now, uh, when we were getting that going, we needed a place for us to go and talk about cryptocurrencies and wealth and investments. So we utilized a Discord server to have that part of uh, part of our community, along with a, a company called Mighty Networks that we use. I'm not going to go into them here. You can go check them out at MightyNetworks.com if you want to know more about that. But inside of the Discord, it allowed us to have roles. People could put support tickets in. They can go and communicate about crypto, building wealth, and investments. And there's a free tier and then a private tier. And that's why I think Discord's very important because it has the ability to create roles. They give you free access to certain things and then gives you paid access to other things. And so... And so Discord got a lot of popularity with, you know, the video game industry because let's say a video game was coming out, then they would create a server for that video game, like Square Enix would create a Final Fantasy server, and then the community around that video game would come together and talk about it, okay? And it's kind of gotten bigger and bigger since then. And I believe that Discord and the concept of Discord is going to be one of the biggest things moving forward. So I think that you should have a Discord server, um, even if it's, you know, like I said, it's free. Um, there are paid functions you can do, and there's a paid bots that you can do. I use one of those. Again, I can show, I'll show you that in a later video. Um, but when I was building the server, one of the things that frustrated me the most is I didn't understand how to get the emoticons or the emojis in there. Um, and I didn't know how to get like, how to break the things up with like a straight line. Because when you push it on your keyboard, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does work. And there's some things that you can do to make that look fast. So I have a gaming um, group. It's called Red Wizard Gaming Society. It's a nonprofit organization that I have that I'm trying to build the community for. And then the community is focused on people coming together, playing and learning about games, looking at game theory, doing ludology, which is a study of gaming. Um, and so we're really focusing on, or I'm really focusing on, I guess, because it's mainly me and some friends, we're really focusing on building up that community. So as I, as I do the things for this community, I'm going to show them here so that you know how to do them as well. And so when I was trying to do this, I didn't 
couldn't find the proper videos that I was looking for on YouTube. So that's why I'm doing this. But I was lucky enough to have another server that I'm a part of called Collecty Labs. So you should go check that out. And in Collecty Labs, um, they helped me get my Age of Radio server going. And so my Age of Radio server is free to everybody. There's going to be links to all of this stuff in the episode description because I have a lot of stuff going on. But Age of Radio is another business that I own that's a media company that has a podcast network. Um, and we also have a free Discord server that you can come into as well. So again, make sure that you check out all of those links in the episode description. Make sure that you subscribe to this and like this. And we're going to head on over to the computer right now. Okay, what we want to do is we want to kind of make our Discord server a little bit more organized and a little bit easier on the eyes. Okay, and so this is the Age of Radio Discord server and essentially you can see that there's a start here, a rules, a choose role, team chat announcements, and they're all these things here like start here, AOR team, podcast host, megaphone resources. Those are all things that our um, uh, categories, okay? And then within categories, you have different types of channels. And so for this video, we're going to just focus on the text channels because I'm going to kind of show you how to organize this so you can keep it kind of in line like this, okay? And that's the thing that was really frustrating for me when I started out with Discord is because I didn't really know how to do this um, and it, I couldn't find anything other than the, the un Unicode for the emojis I was able to find some videos on, but I wasn't able to find a, the, how to put the line in there and how to get that to work properly. And so that's kind of why I wanted to show this. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I'm doing it in our Red Wizard Gaming Society. So all the Discord tutorials, at least for right now, will be to help me get this Discord um, up for the Red Wizard Gaming Society and then trying to bring more people in to either help with it or to be a part of it. Um, and so, for instance, I have this Red Wizard Tavern. Okay, so the whole thing is based off of like gaming and geek stuff. So in this Red Wizard Tavern, we're going to have like a fireside chat. Okay, so before we go into making categories or anything, I want to kind of clean this up to make sure that this fireside chat looks good. And the way that I am able to do that is by getting some Unicode. And so since it's fireside chat, I can either think about it from an emoji standpoint of getting a Unicode for fire or maybe a Unicode for chatting. And so I'm going to do fire because it goes along with the fireside chat. And this is just like a main chat for the the server and it's inside of the red wizard tavern so if you play rpgs and you have a tavern that's where you go find games or like if there is a mission sometimes you can go there it's where you meet up with friends it's where you talk and you chat and that's what the red wizard tavern is designed to do so this would be like the fireside chat like a main chat and so first what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to type in emoji a unicode and so I use pre-search, it's a node, uh, it's a crypto node that I use to do my searches. It keeps it a little bit safer, I suppose. Um, and then this is the one that I do, it's the one that says full emoji list uh, version 14.0 Unicode. And so when this comes up, what's gonna happen is you're going to have this Unicode uh, pictures of all of the different emojis that have to do with this. Okay, and so the one that we're focusing on is browser. All these other ones are how they show up in different areas, um, but we want the Unicode for the browser itself. And so we're gonna pick this from here. So what I usually like to do is I just like to control F for find, right? It's gonna bring up a find function down here. I'm using a Firefox browser, but I use pre-search for my search, um, uh, search engine, I guess. And so if we go in here, we're gonna just type in fire and see if a little anything fiery comes up. So this, this, I like this, okay? But let's say we were wanted to do chat. You could put in chat, or I guess talk would be a good one. Let's see, chat, speaker, here we go. This is what I usually do for like chatting. Let me see what I did for the Age of Radio one. Let's see, text, uh, what was it? There we go, bubble, thunder bubble. Okay, so you can go here and you could pick any one of these here if you wanted maybe a cloud or that type of chat, you could pick that. But again, it's up to you, obviously it's your server, um, but I'm gonna do the fire. Let's see what it was, fire. So I'm gonna grab this. Go back over to Discord. I'm gonna right click on this, I'm gonna go to edit channel. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw it right here in the front. So you're just gonna copy paste and it's gonna do it. If you had a space, it's gonna do this line. We don't want that line. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a second. But let's just say we got this fire and we have this fireside chat here. I can't type, apparently. Okay, so save changes. 
Okay, so what you do is you go find an emoji Unicode area, you copy that Unicode emoji, right? And then you paste it into the uh, edit channel function on how you want the name to show up. And then it makes these little icons here. And that makes the Discord look a lot nicer. And hopefully it can kind of bring people from an eye perspective, oh, this is probably this. I'm gonna go over there and kind of talk a little bit in that server or whatever, or that um, channel. The whole thing's a server. Okay, so once you go and do that, the other thing that we want is we want the little lines next to it. Now that is on your keyboard, and if they fixed it, which I don't think that they did. See, so if you go and you find that straight up line, right, and the line that I'm talking about is this here. Okay, see that line right there? That's what we're trying to get. And this was frustrating for me because it's on the keyboard, right? And so if you shift and it's on your little, I don't know, backspace, it's on top of the backspace key, at least on my keyboard. If you hit that, you think, oh, it'll put that straight line up and down, but it doesn't. So what you need to do is you need to go find that line is we're gonna go ahead and grab it from either the internet, right? So just go there, type in vertical bar, get it, copy it because then it's probably in the code. So neither way, that's how you do that and you add it in there. So from then though, from moving forward, you can just go grab this from here. Okay, now the fire poses kind of a problem and we might have to think of something else besides fire, depending, is it might not adjust to where we want this to be. So let's say I wanted another another channel in here. So let's do Water Wizard and Tavern. Um, let's see. We'll do... Let's do... Let's add a text channel. We'll call it... Uh, we'll call it find a party. Right, and party meaning like I'm looking for people to play. I can't find anybody, so I'm going to go in here and say, hey, does anybody want to go play this, you know, game with me, right? So let's say I want to go play Valorant or something. I'm going to go go to this party line. I'm going to say, hey, does anybody want to play Valorant? I'm going to play in a little bit of time. You post it in there. You find people, and then you come and get it, okay? And so... We'll create this channel. Okay, we'll go back up here. We'll edit this channel. We'll grab this here. Maybe. Okay, we'll do control C. Do this. Edit channel. We'll go here. We'll put throw that there. And then we'll go over to our Unicode. You know, it's a party group, so we're looking for people. So maybe we'll do people and see what comes up. Um, maybe we'll do party and see what comes up. Okay, so I'm going to use this one because it's just like look two people for right now. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to take it over to my Discord server. Do, 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 do. Okay, and... We're going to edit the channel. We're going to paste that there. We're going to save changes and see what this looks like. Okay, so uh, is there a five there? Let's get rid of that five. Okay, so there, so we put that in there, we put that Unicode in there, and now these are right side by side and the lines in the same spot. And that's what we can do to keep it kind of organized and make it look a lot better. Now, the other thing that you can do, and I'm not gonna go into roles right now, but we wanna think of like different types of categories. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is kind of how to build out a category, right? So if we go up the top here, we hit here, we're gonna create a category right here. Okay, and the new category we're gonna just do, because I'm getting into Riot Games, and I think that maybe other people are into Riot Games, like Valorant, um, what's the other one, League of Legends? Okay, so we're gonna do some Riot Games, we're gonna create categories, we're gonna put it right down here, okay? So then, this now categorizes stuff, and if I wanna edit this category, I can put some permissions in here, and I'm not gonna go into that right now, but you can set permissions um, so that, and what roles can see it and how it works, and then everything that you put into that category, only a role can see, but we're not gonna do that right now. I just kinda wanted to show you how to create this because then, you know, we, let's say we want a channel for Valorant specifically, we can do, we can add that here, and then we can do Valorant, 
Okay, we create a channel for Valorant. And then we can go and find maybe, let's do a gun. Maybe that's not weapons. Maybe they don't have weapons. <laughs> um, we'll do this. Because one of the, I think when you're going through, I played Valorant last night, so I remember seeing a crossbow. We'll just do this for right now. Okay, so then we can copy this. Go back over to our do, 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 Discord server. And then we're going to go here. We're going to go to edit channel. We're going to throw that bad boy right there. We're going to save it. Okay. We're going to go back over to here, edit this channel. We're going to grab this. Grab that, copy it, go back over to here, edit channel, and we are going to throw that right there. And then when we come back over here, <clears throat> it stays the same. Now let's say we really wanted to get really into it. We could go to this and we could do the same thing for here. So let's say we wanted to kind of organize the category name, right? It throws that line up there. So maybe we want to do, you know, a line for every one of those. So it pushes it over. However you want to do it and design it is up to you. But one of the things that was frustrating for me was the emoticons not getting the emojis in there. Um, and that's really what I wanted to show you and then how to set up a category and do that. So anytime that I do something with this server, I'll come back and I'll hopefully uh, educate you on it and I'll share that knowledge with you. So if you want to know more about that, make sure that you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, check out all all of the great links in the episode description. And like I always say, be thankful, grateful, and kind. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.